welcome to another edition of Fantasy Dream Realms. We got to get moving today because we have five, that's right, five Fantasy Dream Realms to look at. Today, we're going to Gestalt, Switzerland, and we're going to stop right there, okay? So here we have Europe, and just let's get our true north set here correctly. Boom. So here we have Europe, you know, and you see all your major countries like Spain and Portugal and Ireland and the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and we have right here where all this red is, we have Switzerland, this, this country right here in the yellow. And Switzerland, by the way, is the almost the exact same size as the Netherlands to the north of it. Matter of fact, the, they're so close that the Netherlands is only 100 square miles larger. So they're pretty much identical in size. But here we go. So we're going to zoom in on Gestadt and I want to let's address the pronunciation right away. Take it away, Linda. Gestadt or Gestadt. Gestadt or Gestadt. See, so <laughs> um, so I call it Gestadt, and I you know I apologize if I'm offending any of the locals, but let's um, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, so a few facts about. Gestadt. Gestadt is an upscale resort town in the Swiss Alps. Its soaring mountains and prestigious international boarding schools have long made it a holiday destination for royalty and celebrities. Cable cars connect surrounding ski areas. Gestadt is home to one of the largest ski areas in the Alps. It's approximately 220 kilometers or 137 miles of slopes. That's a lot of ski slopes. The middle of the village features a picturesque promenade bounded by numerous shops, restaurants, art galleries, and hotels. Designer labels, including Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chopin, Bruno Cuccinelli, Prada, Montclair, Ralph Lauren and Cartier all have stores in Gestadt. And Gestadt was named, quote, the place, quote, by Time Magazine in the 1960s. It's widely known for its famous part-time residents and vacationers. Famous regular visitors to Gestadt have included Madonna, Marlena Dietrich, Elizabeth Taylor, Elizabeth Hurley, Sophia Loren, Prince Charles, and Princess Diana. We're going to be using this website as, it's from myswitzerland.com. This will be in the show notes. This website is going to be our travel bureau, travel destination uh, website. So if you want to make travel plans to Gestadt, uh, this is a good place to start. If you take a look at the climate in Gestadt, it is a relatively cool place. So when you look at these months, January, February, March, you know, we're talking pretty cool temperatures here. Um, and look at the summer month, the hottest month of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. You've got 15.7 Celsius or 60.3. Now that's your average daily mean. That's that's not very hot for a, a hot month, typically everywhere else. And the high is 23.3 or 73.9 uh, Fahrenheit. That's, that, is, that is very temperate, you know. So you're going to be having cool temperatures, um, but it looks like a beautiful place to live. Now, one of the things they also mentioned in the description were the boarding schools. So I wanted to look at these boarding schools, and there are three that we're going to talk about. The John F. Kennedy International School, the Brilliant Mont School, and then the and Le Rossi. And they're, 
I will tell you, as somebody who has attended boarding school myself, I'm not a fan of boarding schools. However, if you're going to send your kid to boarding school, look at how young that child is. That's too young to be going to boarding school. I'm sorry. If you're going to be sending your kid to boarding school, I could see for high school. That's what I did. I went to a boarding high school. I would never send my kids to a boarding school, period. Um, I look at it this way. One of the most valuable things in your life, it's not your job. It's not your, your assets. It's not your money. It's not your homes. It's your children. So why on earth would you choose to separate yourself from your children? And the only instance I can think of is if both the mother and father are in a war zone. And then I can see it. Or if you're living in a very dangerous country, it's actually better and safer for your child to be in a place like um, Switzerland, far from home, for a young child. But let's just look at a little these the cost of going to these boarding schools is incredible so here we have these are the annual costs and this is when you get up to the 11th 12th grade and 13th grade 86,000 now that by the way is in Swiss francs so in reality it's it's going to be different for the conversion i know in the united states that's about 87 thousand dollars oh and what does it cost to go to harvard you know the most uh one of the most prestigious if not the most prestigious college or university in the world well let's uh let's take a look at that for the tuition for 2019-2020 we're talking college here not boarding school for grade schoolers or high schoolers you're topping out at about not even 70000 a year. So it's actually more expensive to send your, you know, eighth grader or even younger. Some of these, they're, they're starting some of these kids at eight years of age, which I think is absurd. But it is expensive, and it's all about preparing your kids for a life of uh, uh, academia. But I will say that if I had to send my kids to boarding schools, these three boarding schools would probably be the places I would send them because they certainly look like fine institutions, you know, so. Okay, so let's get on with our fantasy dream homes. So we're using luxuryestate.com and I was searching for homes specifically in the Gestadt area. Okay, so let's take a look at our first home.
Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to point out in this home, and uh, well, a couple things. One, you got some absolutely beautiful big decks, but you're going to have to shovel those decks because of the environment you're in. The other thing is, I want to go back to the kitchen and point out to you the size. Now, there's the refrigerator over there, but here's a better look at it right here and coming up right here. That is, and it looks like you can have it bigger. I'm guessing that is probably about a 13 cubic foot refrigerator, which is really, really small by U.S. standards. Um, you won't even see 15 cubic feet is about the smallest you're going to be able to be. You will be able to find these, and you can special order these in U.S. appliance stores. But it's it's if you're a foreign buyer and you're taking a look at that, that is. And we're, I, I do see this in a lot of European homes, smaller refrigerators. Uh, but, but just pointing it out by American standards, 
extremely small refrigerator. Okay, I just wanted to point out a couple things that I found here to be interesting. One is this outdoor furniture set, which I find, um, I guess interesting is the best way to describe it. Wouldn't you take this stuff in in the snowy weather, or is it so super durable? I don't know. I'm generally interested. 
because it's so super durable, you leave it out all year long. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go back here even further. This I found to be very interesting. Now what I'm guessing, and that is a very decorative way to disguise or hide radiant heating. And I could be wrong about that, but it's a, you know, rather than look at the, you know, wrought iron, ugly, radiant uh, grills that you would normally see, this is a way of hiding it. I could be completely wrong. Somebody can let me know in the comments. And I did see that in, uh, in the other house we looked at. Um, there it is again. It's it's very clever way of it, it's sort of beautifying it. Also found this interesting. Here you have a console, a power console, which looks like for this uh, this uh, sunken cooktop right here. And normally you would see this on the dials inlaid right into the cooktop, but I'm guessing that's what that's for. And it's sort of cool looking the way it's angled up or like that. So just something I noticed.
Dream Home, and I hope you enjoyed them. And we want to thank you so much for joining us on another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. If you like the show, please like, share, and subscribe. The more subscribers we have, the better we can make our community. When you do subscribe, if you click the little bell symbol, we will notify each time we come out with a new video. Some new news for our fans. We will be starting a Patreon page shortly in the next few days. I'll put the channel location in the show notes. You do not have to give money in order to enjoy Fantasy Dream Homes. We only ask that you like, share, and subscribe uh, and comment. However, we're starting the Patreon project in order to both grow the Fantasy Dream Homes YouTube channel and community but we also want to expand the Fantasy Dream Homes brand in many new and exciting ways. And if you want to see what we have in mind, head on over to our Patreon channel, and we've listed all of our hopes and dreams and goals over there. If you are able to financially assist us, that would be great and much appreciated. And it would be one more way for you to get involved in our community. Even the smallest contributions help move us in the direction to making Fantasy Dream Homes a better channel and fantastic community. You can also participate and help grow our community by commenting and sharing your ideas and feedback. You are going to be the number one reason why our community grows and becomes better. So help us out. Finally, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next show. Keep smiling, everybody. Bye-bye.